Okay, you want to remove the background from an image. We're going to do it for these two images, one for a basic illustration, but also for this photograph here. I'm going to show you two methods. The first uses an app on the Microsoft Store, and the second requires you to upload your image to the Adobe website. Okay, let's start with the first method. You go down to your Start button, bottom left of your screen, and in the search bar, just type store. And you should see Microsoft Store in the search results if you click on it. In the search bar at the top, type Paint 3D. Then select the app as it's listed there. Now I've already downloaded this app, so I can see the Open button there. If you've not downloaded it, you'll see the Get button. Click on the Get button, that'll download the app. Then you'll see the Open button. Click on the Open button. Then click on Open here. And then browse for the file that you want to remove the background from. Select it and then click on Open. The next step is to use this magic Select button. If you click on it, you can then define the area that you want to remove the background from. Then over here on the right, click Next. Now you can see it's done a pretty good job, but there are areas of the illustration that it's missed out. So I can use this Add button here, which is already selected. All I need to do is just click on the areas of the drawing that I want to include in the cutout. So for example, these eyebrows, all I do is I click on the eyebrow, it gets included in the cutout. I'll do it for the other one. And then I've got to do it for all these other black areas. Now these white areas need to be excluded from the cutout. So to do that, I use this remove button. And then I do the same thing. I just click on these white areas. Now you can see that hasn't quite worked, so I'm going to undo that action and try again. So once you're happy with your cutout, click on this Done button over on the right here. And then you want to move your cutout out of the background. Then you need to select your background just by drawing a marquee over it and then press Delete on your keyboard. Then you can select your cutout and drag it back into the image. Then what you want to do is click on this Menu button, go to Save As, Image, and you need to make sure you select this Transparency option here, and then click on Save and save the file to wherever you want to save it. And that's the process using this method. Now Paint 3D works perfectly for a simple image like this, but let's try it with the other image. Now the hair on this image makes this quite complex to remove the background from, but let's try it. So can you see the outline, although it's quite good, does include all these gaps between these hairs. So it's not the perfect solution for something more complex like this. So for something like this, I would use the second option. So let's have a look at that. Now the second option is this Adobe Express tool, and I'll leave a link in the description of this video to this web page. Now all you need to do is click on Upload Your Photo. Select the file that you want to remove the background from. Click on Open. And you can see it's done a much better job than Paint 3D. We've got transparent areas between these hairs. So then you have two options. You can either download it, if I do that, and then open up that downloaded file. You can see it's created a very nice cutout with a transparent background. 
Now, the other option was to open it in Adobe Express, but it actually does that anyway when you download it. You can see you have a whole load of other tools that you can use with your image. But these tools are probably the subject for another video. That's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next video.